Dear brothers and sisters, this is my final uh, YouTube on the info letter. Uh, if you want to continue to receive the YouTubes, uh, because I do have a personal channel, uh, just look me up, Father Francis McKee, and it'll be right now uh, at uh, Jesus Light of the World, but it'll be changed to another name, but same title, Father Francis McKee. Well, I don't know what to say at the end of uh, 20 years of service. This Sunday will be my last Sunday. See, my heart is full of joy, gratitude, full of being blessed by the Lord. And um, I hope that that's the way that I can die one day. It's just to be grateful for everything. God is profoundly uh, my love, my life. And I've tried to share that with you. I came to uh, St. David's and Mary Queen of Peace as a young man. Uh, in the prime of my life, in my mid-40s. And I leave as an old man, um, but surprisingly, still with energy and good health. I have no health issues, whatever. And so I offer my services to other parishes and will continue my journey as long as the Lord will keep me alive. I... Um, only have good memories as I think about my time here in the parishes. Wonderful memories of all sorts of people I've met, your families that I've eaten with, laughed with. Uh, I learned from one family to eat s'mores with the kids. Didn't know what it was, marshmallow and cookies. Oh, ooh, lots of sugar in that. You know, World Youth Days to Australia, to uh, Germany, to France, Spain. Uh, the trips to the Holy Land with so many wonderful people I travel with. And to visit the holy sites of the Holy Land. Boy, these were wonderful moments. The, f the parties of the parish. We had three or four parties every year just to kind of, and the basic principles, keep it cheap, fun, and family friendly and we are just i'm just so grateful so many of you came and we had wonderful times laughter and, <laughs> and all kinds of fond memories i think of the memories of going to the hospital so many times often in the middle of the night to go visit a family that had had a tragedy or a child that was very sick or a grandmother that was dying and even those painful moments were just very holy very beautiful Always remembering the presence of the Lord. Always remembering the presence of the Lord. I think of the weddings we celebrated so many and the babies born and baptized. Gosh, you know, it's the, the life of a priest is a very privileged life. You know, we're, we're with uh, families and people at the most sacred times of their lives to celebrate the one who gives us life, the Lord himself. And how grateful I am to have had that opportunity to be there. I mean, being a priest is not raising the dead or, or healing people necessarily. It's about reminding us of the sacred and wonderful presence of a person, Jesus, an event. Jesus who rose from the dead and who's with us and is alive. It's been a real privilege for me to just be with you and talk about the Lord. And, and remember, it wasn't my faith that kept you strong. It was your faith that kept me strong. Many times when I was faltering and uncertain, you picked me up and said, come on, Father, we need to keep trusting and believing. And for that, I, I thank you. So I'm just immensely grateful for having met so many of you and to... Uh, journey with you, friendships, laughter, uh, to share the word of God with you, to love the scriptures. I hope that you've learned to love the scriptures. More than anything, I guess what I have to say is uh, to look back over my, my 20 years here and also my, my years as a priest, almost 40 years, now we're coming up to 40 years, is that uh, just like you, 
I'm just in love with the Lord. The Lord is a wonderful, wonderful being, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit who abides within us and with whom we're in constant communication, constant dialogue, always in conversation, telling jokes uh, with the Lord and, and laughing with the wonderful divine, divine presence, the humorous presence of God who accompanies us even when things are so difficult. So I leave you. Uh, it's been a pleasure walking with you. Keep me in, my, in your prayers. Uh, I pray for the priests who will be following me. They are wonderful guys. I know them all, all four of them. We are very blessed to have them. And I know that things will go very well. In fact, I'm sure they'll go much better because these are really good, good men of God. So the Lord bless them and protect them and keep them safe. And may the Lord bless you and bless your families. And it's been, as I said, a privilege to journey with you. May you continue to love the Lord and find in the Lord the great joy of your life. So God bless you and thank you. Bye-bye.